show starts in five minutes. shopping. Cost of living got you down. Money used to burn a hole in my pocket. Now it isn't even there long enough to get warm. <laughs> There's one bargain left in town. Campbell Soups. Try chicken with rice. Best parts of the chicken, fluffy rice, and two chicken stocks for extra flavor. About six cents a seven-ounce serving. Sit right down and get your Campbell's worth. Show starts in four minutes. This drive-in theater is radioactive. Now you can hear tonight's show on your AM car radio. Turn your ignition key to the accessory position. This will not drain your car battery. Now turn on your radio and zero in on the following AM station. Best popcorn in town is Manley's oh, High Pop. Wow. In regular or jumbo cartons, here's why. Take the tastiest, tenderest, scientifically grown popcorn, add pure, delicious seasoning and specially prepared salt. Then let the famous Manly machine work its magic on Manly popcorn, America's favorite popcorn. Crisp, savory, oh, wonderful. Wow. Visit our concession stand now for Manly's High Pop. Show starts in three minutes. Okay. Okay. Gotta be careful not to fall off here. Whoa! It seems we've been teleported to another location. Oh, no shit, dude! Take <laughs> oh, no, am I gonna die? Oh, I got a, I got a ring! I got a ring! Dude, he's juggling me! What the fuck? <laughs> Bullshit, dude. Literally unavoidable. Man, the jumping mechanics are so weird. Uh, that's... What? 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sick. Sick grind, Sonic. There's no doubt in my mind. Why can't I see Shadow's reflection in Rouge's boobs? find. Show starts in two minutes. We're happy to announce that we've installed burn somatic in-car heaters for your comfort and pleasure. When you receive your heater, you'll find it very easy to place in your car. Just roll down your front window and rest the heater's bracket on the window with the cylinder on the outside of the car. Roll up your window securely as far as it will go to hold the heater firmly in position. For maximum results, tilt the face of the heater towards the windshield and sit back and enjoy the show in healthful comfort. With these modern, safe, efficient in-car heaters, this drive-in theater will now remain open all year round. If you have any further questions about your burns o in-car heater, please contact one of our theater attendants. And remember, this drive-in theater will now remain open all year round, regardless of the weather. Show starts in one minute. Yes, toddy, the chocolate malt in a can. It's so good hot. It's so good cold. It hits the spot with young and old. Yes, toddy pleases everybody. Delicious chocolate malt of toddy, made with rich, real milk, not powdered milk. So come and get it, everybody. It's time to drink your chocolate toddy. They're at the movies. It's a big date. They love their popcorn. Look what they ate. This kind of action is the main attraction. Oh, boy, ain't love grand. Now, 
ladies and gentlemen, time for the show. Once again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. We'll make an announcement before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last minute treat. hear me everything was so fucked up <laughs> i had to fix everything before i went live i i was messing with everything's different hopefully it all looks the same but everything's different i was messing with shit yesterday i'm fine with being blue i'm fine with be i can live with being blue should i turn this am i more blue like this uh, but everything was working great last night, and I went to start it up, and nothing worked. Nothing worked today. Uh, but I think I got a fix. They look good? Okay, thank you, thank you. Happy anniversary, Ian. How long have you and Twitch been married? I have no idea. I'm going to say this in the nicest way possible while still being Ian. Thank you, everybody, for wishing me happy partner anniversary. It's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> it's going to drive me crazy. I don't know anything about partner anniversary. I didn't know that there was my date. Everyone's going to come in here all day, and they're going to be saying, happy partner. Yeah, happy partner anniversary. It's like getting a raid that goes on, like, all stream. <laughs> I'm not going to block the phrase. I'm, not, I'm just going to complain about it because I like to complain. But really, thank you, everybody. Thank you. I don't know, I don't know how long I've been on Twitch. Uh, but I'm just glad you guys are here with me and you let me uh, complain a little bit about little things. <laughs> I knew you would hate it. I feel like anyone that's been here for longer than maybe six months could probably gauge my reaction to, to, to happy, happy partner anniversary. All the VOD watchers are going to be like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't care. Uh... Puppy Paws, thank you for the eight months. Chonky Noodle, thank you for the 15 months. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Chonky Noodle, uh, thanks for the 15 months. Himbo Prime, thank you for the 11 months. Almost a whole year. Spooner McGavin, thanks for the eight months. Perfect way to spend a Friday night. A bit of a later stream than usual, so uh, hello to people that don't usually get to see them. It's fucking cold over here. It was such a warm winter, and now it's freezing. I had to go salt the driveway and salt the walkway and wrap up all the exterior spigots. Oh, my God. Please say anything else but happy oh, partner anniversary. Wow. Please, anything. Anything else. A little sushi roll. Thank you for the 53 months. Rub-a-dub-dub, 53-month -dub -dub, sub. We're going to be salty today? Yeah, I am. Extra salty. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for the bits, Garglev. Ginny is Bean, thank you for the 24 months. Uh, thanks for the bits, Chunky Noodle. Uh, Chocolate Morsels, thank you for the 15 months. Oh. Everyone likes salt? I love salt, honestly. Does it even say what year my partner anniversary is? Or does it just give you an emote to spam me with? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, everybody. <laughs> Parzafal, thank you for the 29 months. Just an emote. Well, you can tell they really care about my anniversary. Mr. Twitch came over... Uh, this morning, actually, really? just to wish me happy partner anniversary. You're fine. You're fine. I'm not actually. Well, I'm. I'm not mad. I'm bothered. Yeah, but it, it's a fun kind of bothered. I'm not actually upset at anybody for saying for saying it. I just knew I was gonna get on stream and complain about it when I saw that that was gonna happen. I knew for sure I was gonna come on here and do exactly this. I wonder if Twitch even emailed me to say uh, to say happy anniversary. Uh, Parsifal, thank you for the 29 months. Labyrinth, thank you for the 47 months. Happy birthday. 
Uh, somewhere flying, thank you for the seven months. I'm not late. So glad to be here for the mystery. Hot Dog Sweet, thank you for the 13 months. Harry Potter anniversary. R.S.N. Jeff, thanks for the seven months. Hi, Ian. Thanks for streaming and keeping me cozy during a blizzard. If the blizzard does take me out, though, you can have my Zoom. Hell yes, I always wanted a Zoom. I wanted the uh, I wanted the poop brown Zoom. I thought the Zooms looks, looked uh, pretty sweet. My faucets are dripping to keep my pipes from bursting. It's a very uh, sexual-sounding home care tip, but it is true. Actually, my neighbor, my uh, uh, my nice old lady neighbor, I hope she doesn't ever hear me. I don't want her to hear me call her old lady. My nice neighbor, who is an older lady, came over this morning and, and told me to to wrap up my exterior spigots. She was just like, as a new homeowner, I hope you know to do this. It was very sweet. Lupinion, thank you for the 25 months. Dude, I just burned my hand on boiling water making packet ramen when you announced stream. It was probably your fault. That was intentional, yes. Happy Animorphs Day. What's a partner anniversary? It's Animorphs Day. I don't know which I hate more. <laughs> Ayla <laughs> Rosebuds, thank you for the five dollars. Happy partner anniversary. Thank you, Rosie. And me, Sue Lord, thank you for subscribing. Where's my notes? I was taking notes. Hold on, let me get my notes. And why is chat not working over here? Oh now it's it's back. Lupin said wow to something over here, but I didn't see it over here, so it's like it's like she never said it. Okay. Okay, chat's working over here again. Things are going great today. Specifically stream related things, everything everything's moving smoothly as planned. Nobody's spamming any emotes. <laughs> Uh, how hard was it to adjust to Washington winters and the existence of snow? I, it was pretty easy. It was pretty easy. Uh, it still got it still gets super cold in Texas. It just it gets prettier here when it snows. Okay, let me find my notes. We'll do a story recap and then we'll dive on in. What broke? Oh, everything everything broke today. I had to all my all my video capture devices broke. For stream this morning. I had to fix them all. Here we go. Corn dogs. Okay, my first note is Emma equals me. So I know who the, the player character is. Esoteric Octopus. Thank you for the three dollars. Hi Ian, longtime fan from YouTube, pretty new to Twitch, so I don't know how or I don't know much about chat or bits or partner anniversaries. Luckily, I know how to buy a corn dog. Thank you so much, Esoteric Octopus. Glad you made it over to Twitch. I don't know much about partner anniversaries either, so it's fine. I don't really know much about bits either, or chat. I don't know anything about Twitch. I'm just here. RoyGBiv04, thank you for subscribing. Jasmine879, thank you for the 53 months. And Shark Attack, thank you for the eight months. Hey, Moose, I've been listening to your album on loop. It's so good. Oh, thank you so much. Your music has been a huge inspiration to finally go and make my own. Good luck, Shark Attack. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you, thank you. Hold on, I think someone's at the door. Well, I will not be answering for her again. Unfortunately, she's uh, testing boundaries right now, so I must be, I must be strict and say no. Okay, story recap. We are playing the Diamond Mystery of Rosemond Valley. We are playing as Emma, uh, an 18-year-old who I think just graduated high school and has taken a job at the local paper, uh, which I don't remember the name of. 
but it's it's it was our first day there, and after doing some uh, general snooping about for a story about uh, um, an actress who is returning to the town for the first time in 20 years, her name was Kit Grace, I'm poking around about Kit Grace, um, someone leaves a note on our desk that says... It's n- things aren't what they seem. And that is in reference to a diamond mystery of Roseman Valley. Apparently, 20 years ago, around the same time that Kit Grace vanished from Roseman Valley, there was a large diamond heist. The uh, I don't remember the name of the diamonds. They had a really stupid name. The Treasure Diamonds or something? The Treasure Diamonds were stolen from the local museum. And so now we have been slowly piecing together the mystery, and there's entangling storylines of uh, Kit Grace, the celebrity, has we used to be best friends with the hairdresser who dished a lot of shit about Kit Grace. We saw a co-worker, Malcolm, giving uh, Kit a little kiss on the cheek, a little sneaky cheek. I uh, don't know the extent of that relationship uh, because Kit Grace is staying at a, a hotel uh, that we recently visited. Uh, what else is important? I wrote down a lot of stuff that didn't end up being important. We got um, we got we got stuck in the museum at one point and attacked by a trench coat person, and we found a trench coat in Kit Grace's closet. Don't know if it's the same one. We did harass Kit Grace. She could have just told us to leave, but we we did harass Kit Grace. Uh, our our sister works at the diner, and word around town is that she puts her thumb in the soup when she serves it. She said she doesn't do it, but I mean, what else are you gonna say? Yeah, I stick my nasty thumb in the soup. We got Tom, who works at the paper. He is a camera guy. He's, he had a dark room that got destroyed in a break-in. Oh, yeah, there was a break-in. Is this making sense to someone who hasn't wasn't here <laughs> the other day? There was a break-in at the newspaper uh, place. And uh, we pursued and found uh, a note from... Oh, yeah, Kit Grace was married to the police officer that uh, investigated the diamond crime, and now they're not married anymore. Uh, that's, that's probably enough. That's probably enough. Oh, the fishing column. Yes, the newspaper loves to write about fishing. Uh, petite giraffes, thank you for subscribing. It should be enough. If you don't know what's going on, it's fine. It's going to be a fun time anyway. I only kind of know. I mean, there's only, you know... You know how it goes. Oh, right. The officer the officer that Kit Grace was married to at the time of the crime stole the diamonds, recovered the diamonds from the guy that they pinned the crime on, which was a janitor or some shit. And he stole and relocated the diamonds, but we don't know. Uh, thank you, Lupin. That was an important detail. Yeah, Jack Green was the guy arrested for the crime. He spent six years in jail. Uh, oh, the police officer that investigated the crime saved a cat once, so we like him. And that's probably enough recap. That's probably fine. Here we go. Okay, you guys can hear the the whirring of the game, right? Like I said, I... I changed everything. So I don't know what what works and what doesn't. Whir. Okay, let's see if Carla... I actually remember Carla's name because she complained about the car in a parking spot. Also, I think we did get a haircut. I went back and looked at our hair when we started before we got a haircut at Debbie's. And I do think that we actually did get a haircut. I think it was slightly shorter on the sides. 
Oh yeah, this I'm I'm suspicious of Sad Lucy. She's uh sad a lot, but we found um we found like a note a letter from from the the guy that got pinned for the crime. I'm gonna stop recapping. Lucy, could you tell me a little about yourself? Why do you ask that? We interview other people, not each other, on this paper. I will not let people be sad. No, everyone's got to be happy all the time. I just thought it would be cool to get to know each other a little better. I don't like people asking too many questions and reading my letters. I'm really sorry about that. Okay, maybe I overreacted a little. What do your parents do? My mom's dead and my dad is unemployed. Just something. Are you from Rosemond Valley? Yep, I grew up here. It's fine, it's fine. Everyone's mom dies. It's fine. She's gonna be fine. How long have you been working here? <laughs> Four years. I started straight after school. Do you like it here at the paper? Yes. Carla can be a little difficult at times, but apart from that... Do we not already have this conversation with her? Malcolm's nice. Yeah. He's really nice. And cute. Yeah, he is. I guess. Do you like diamonds? Why do you ask Fucking that? Fucking subtle. What a strange question. I was just wondering. Some people like football, others like diamonds. I'm going now. <laughs> she was on her guard there. Mm, what a hamburger. <laughs> I was turning my mic up. How's that, Labyrinth? Okay. I actually think she's probably going to be, uh, what's it, a red herring? I don't, I don't think it's going to be her, but I am suspicious. Game loud? Okay, there we go. Let me know how that uh, how that treats you. Anything? I can't think of a word to search for right now. Okay, what? I know his chapter just happened. What was the last thing we did? The hotel thing? Did we grill uh, Kit Grace or Sue? I made Kit cry. Oh yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> Look, I'll never get this back in order again. Oh, yeah, the in-game journal. Good thought. Tom, tell me more about your wild life out in the world. Where do you come from? Well, actually, I was born on a South Sea island during a tornado. Everyone died in the storm except for my mom and me. It was several months before we were rescued by a luxury liner. Then I worked as a potato peeler in the Caribbean until I was 15. Wow, what a story. Is that true? Don't you have a dad? Don't you have a dad? Yes, but he wants to remain anonymous. Why does your dad want to be anonymous? Doesn't he like you? Yes, he does. But he doesn't want lots of things written in the paper about us. 
He's pretty famous. What is he? A rock star or something? He's a rock star with a capital R, if you know what I mean. I don't know what you mean. What did you do after the luxury liner? I moved to Japan and worked as an interpreter because I'd learnt so many languages. Can you say goodbye in Japanese? Of course. See you later. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Chat's gonna love that one. <laughs> yep, here it comes. Here it comes. Wow. Yikes. <laughs> It's really strange that they destroyed so much. There's a lot of weirdos out there, but they shouldn't do this to my dark room. What do you think they were after? It must have been one of my rivals who wanted to sabotage the pictures from the beauty pageant. Why would anyone want to destroy your photos? Out of jealousy, of course. You have to fight for work in this industry. And I just got a great assignment. Has anything been taken? I can't find the lens for the enlarger, so I can't make any paper copies. But all my films have been destroyed too, so I haven't got anything to develop anyway. This guy... This guy didn't pay for a watch at the jewelers, correct? And then Sad Lucy was also apparently at the jewelers a lot, asking a lot of questions about jewels forgot about that can't you just buy a new lens the gear they sell in the photoshop in this one horse town is just kid stuff getting them to order the right lens would take weeks amateurs a lovely shall I oh. tell you how to catch a gecko in one hand mm. no I don't think I'll see many geckos here in town Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> okay, well, I kind of like Tom. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, I can, I can rotate in place. This is how else would you turn around? This is how everybody turns around. Hold on. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about our cockroach. I wish we still had the cockroach to use uh, in various situations. What do we have, actually? I'm going to check the journal, too. Uh, all we have is the beeper. We've got a roll of film, which, I mean, we could try to give to Tom, but on... Oh, wait, no, yeah, maybe we should try and give it to Tom. <laughs> Because he's not on the photo. Malcolm's on the photo. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with the cheap novel. Let me see if Tom will develop this film for me. <laughs> the game ends with a desperate need to catch a gecko with one hand. We fail. No. No, I don't think so. Ah! Chugging a little bit. Chugging a lot. Here we go. All right. Just going to walk around and talk for now. Oh, and I'm going to check journal first. Make an appointment at Oh, is it is it Wednesday yet? Tuesday night. Okay, so maybe we should just go uh we could go take, uh, oh, thank you guys. We could take, what's her face, old lady to, uh, to her hair appointment. Yeah, I think it might be hair appointment time. 
head that way. <laughs> I know it's Friday because I had to talk about Animorphs today. That's the only day of the week where I know what day it is. It was book number 40. Dude, I'm not doing it right now because it's not total. I'm still missing two little cables, but I, I rearranged all my equipment. And now when I stream, I can also get a clean capture of the game without me yapping over it. So if I ever want to talk about a game that we stream, it'll be way easier for me. I don't want to disturb anyone. But it's haircut time. Come on now. Check back. I did the bat. Develop the picture. Lurt away the clerk. Oh, oh, lure away. I did that. I lured the clerk. How am I going to develop the picture if Tom's not going to take it? Can I go into the stores yet? Maybe there's a store that'll do it for me. I also love that everything is a flat texture in this game. I love the look. I have no time for shopping. Kill Tom. Let's see. I mean, it's got to be... It's got to be Tom-related. Further examine the museum. Hmm. I wonder if that note was... I wish it drew a line through stuff I'd already done. I wonder if that note was in regards to when I got trapped there. No, finish, finish that G Fuel, Lupin. You can't just let a little bit of G Fuel go to waste, even if it's 9 p.m. I chugged a coffee before I uh <laughs> before I started the stream. Debbie. Three hours behind you. Well you're on Ian time now. And it's G Fuel time. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Well. Maybe our sister knows where to develop film. It has to be Tom. If it's not Tom, that's insane. Because he's that's the film developing place. Are you always here? Not when it's raining, but pretty much all the time. I still wish I knew where we were staying. Like, where's our house? Hi. Hi. Hi, sis. Tell me more about the diamond heist. So far, she's been like the advice giver, but I don't think she's actually given us any advice. Did I tell you about the break-in? The break-in? Yeah. Someone broke into the office and wrecked Tom's dark room completely. There are lots of weird things going on at that paper. Yeah, she did say that she knew how to develop film herself, but I don't... I mean... Tom just said that he can't... You can't do it with his equipment anymore. I mean, maybe Tom will leave and I can get in there? Did I tell you about the mysterious man in the trench coat? A man in a what? 
A man in a trench coat broke into our office and then attacked me at the museum. What? What do you mean, attacked you? Haven't I told you? I was attacked in the storeroom at the museum. Be careful, Emma. This is getting dangerous. Aren't Emma hasn't told anybody. But I've got no evidence yet. There is there not? There's a security camera right where we got attacked, unless the door was closed. No, the door was open at the time. It was actually Captain Parker who stole the diamonds. I thought you said it was that guy Griffin. Yes, but then Parker swiped the diamonds from Griffin. You mean the police stole from the thief? That's right. Okay. This is even more complicated than I thought. So... So the guy actually did it? Jack Griffin actually did it? Are we sure about that? Do you know what? Captain Parker and Kit Grace were married. Where is he now? Nobody knows. He disappeared 20 years ago. I wonder how much Kit Grace actually knows. Did she really go straight to Hollywood when she left town? Or did she follow Parker to the West Indies? Do you think she knows more than she's letting on? Yes. I have a feeling that Kit is protecting someone. Maybe she just wants to forget her past. Yeah, he wrote a confession about moving the diamonds. But I guess I was... I guess I was still assuming that the Jack Griffin was not the original thief, but maybe he was. I found out that Kit and Parker have a child together. How did you find out? I found a letter to Kit from Parker, postmarked in the West Indies. Where did you find it? Please, let me finish. <laughs> Stop interrupting. Kit, Grace, and Parker's child must right. be funny now. Do you know if it's a boy or a girl? No, that's what I've got to find out. I have a feeling it's somewhere at the paper. What makes you think that? They all seem to have a connection to either Diamonds or Kit Grace. Why don't you ask them? I spoke to Tom. He told me an unbelievable childhood memory about a tornado on some South Sea island. I wonder if it's true. It's not. Maybe he's just got a vivid imagination. He's buying lots of expensive stuff at the jewelers all the time. How can he afford it? Maybe he's coming to money. Diamonds, perhaps? Yeah, right. Do we think Annie thumbs the soup? I think that's the most important thing, maybe of the entire game. The jeweler is a shady character, too. He's specializing in diamond and gem forgery. You better keep an eye on him. Lucy doesn't want to talk about her parents. She's a mystery. What's so mystical about her? She sounds like a mouse to me. Why is she going to the jewelers asking about diamonds? Yeah, that sounds a bit odd. And then there's the letter to Griffin. Maybe she's writing an article about him. But why is she so secretive? Maybe she's moonlighting for another paper. There are another... Yeah, there's, there's no other papers. This is the paper. Asking questions to people who won't tell the truth. I have to find another way. Do you think Mrs. Holmes knows about her grandchild? Well, she ought to know. But she's a bit confused, so she might very well have forgotten all about it. Maybe she isn't as confused as she seems. Maybe she's part of the conspiracy. Maybe. That would actually be exciting if Mrs. Holmes was part of the... Uh conspiracy. I love this diner. I wish we did more kind of like our... Oh! Look who's here. I'm really sorry about the letter. I didn't mean to snoop. What do you want to know? I want to know why you got so angry when we were talking before. Maybe I'm a little too curious. A little curious? But I really don't mean any harm. We were talking about her when she was five feet away. I'm so suspicious of Lucy. I don't know. She's just a mouse to me. 
Crod, uh, apologies in advance. Crodasinosage. Oh, that's Jason. Jason is a dork backwards. I figured it, figured it out. Thank you so much for the $20. Longtime VOD viewer. First time live. Hello. Hello, uh, Crod. Are you, uh, are you Jason who is a dork? Or, uh, or is, do you know Jason? Thank you. Thank you so much. Happy you made it here live. I happen to see some papers among your things. What sort of diamond story are you writing about? Oh, I just write a little sometimes. It's fun to fantasize. I still don't understand why you don't want to talk about your family. There's not a lot to boast about. My dad's the infamous jewel. Ah. Uh, ah. Okay. Griffin? He's your dad? Yes. I had to live with that shame all through my childhood. Oh, well, now I understand. I'm sorry. The diamond theft was the only crime he ever committed. Since he got out of jail, he's lived an honest life. The people here in town still see him as the diamond thief. Well. And refuse to give him a job. That's why I have to look after both of us. It's a shame that people can't forgive and forget. Yes. Very expensive diamonds. He served his time. But people think he still has the diamonds. Well, I know he doesn't have the diamonds. It must be hard for you to earn enough for both of you. How do you manage? I do a little extra work sometimes. Do you moonlight for another paper? No, Carla would know right away. Lucy, I'm worried about you. You're not caught up in something illegal, are you? No, what makes you think that? The jeweler said that you often go there and ask questions about forgeries. I'm just doing some research. Mm -hmm. Are you writing an article about diamonds? No. Oh, I thought I would be able to keep this a secret. What? I write crime novels. Uh -huh. Really? Cool. <laughs> okay. What was your last book called? A Million in the Hand. But I have that here. So you... Oh. I heard it's really good. Thanks. I know. Writes novels. It's very convenient. I ignored your. I don't. I didn't see a, a second donation. What I. What I ignore. Did it go off? I'm sorry, Rosie. Why don't you want anyone to know that you are an author? Carla wouldn't like it. You know what she's like. But as soon as I earn enough from books, I'll resign. Do you get a lot of inspiration for your novels from your dad? Yeah. He has loads of stories about his time in prison. Well, at least there's something good about being the daughter of a jewel thief. <laughs> well, yes, you could say that. Went off while I was adjusting the audio. You refresh my thing. You seem to like him a lot. He's the sweetest man in the world, but unfortunately he's not as sensible as he is sweet. Was it true what he said at the trial that he didn't keep the diamonds? I'm certain of it. He has been poor ever since. He told the police where he hid the diamonds, but they never found them. Well, just, just tell her, just tell, okay. And you don't think he had an accomplice who double-crossed him? Pop swore an accomplice? that he alone, and I believe him. Pop's a bit of a loner. Has your dad never felt like getting back at those who stole the diamonds from him? Pop's not one to bear grudges. He just wants to get on with his life and forget about this whole thing. Seems not everyone's forgotten about it. No, sadly not. Can you tell me a little bit more about your next novel? I'll let you read it when it's finished. But don't tell the others here at the paper, okay? Don't worry. I won't. See you. I can't promise that. I've said a lot of... Emma said a lot of things. Ayla Rosebuds. I refresh and now I actually see it. 
Uh, thank you for the five dollars. Hey, Ian, did you know it's your partner anniversary? I'm not sure what that means, but thank you very much, Rosie, for the five dollars. Not sure what you're referencing exactly. I want to talk to these people again. Weak. Okay, let's get out of here. We're moving. Well, that was a lot of info. I guess I don't I don't suspect her uh anymore. In fact, what do I suspect of... It? I guess I don't know who the person in the trench coat is. Or where the diamonds are. I know who took the diamonds. And I have evidence of that. So, I mean... A trip to the police... Seems like it could be fruitful. When, uh, who was, when we got the evidence that What's-His-Face had moved the diamonds, did he say specifically where they were? Like, could Looks I go? Like the museum is closed today. Oh, great. Could I, like, go look, look for him? Because we found that confession, like, behind a brick on the chimney. Which kind of says to me that no one else had seen it yet, but maybe not. <laughs> yeah, that's honestly, that's what I, I want to see if I can steal the jewels myself. Let's go bug people at the paper and then I'll, I'll head over to the hotel. What did it say in the diamonds about the diamonds in the note about the secret kid? See, that's the thing. I don't I don't totally remember. I wrote down a lot, but it's hard to like figure out where I wrote things down. Okay, Bob still doesn't want to talk. I really want to get this film developed. Yeah, see, he doesn't have any of the equipment that you need to, to do it. And I can't think of anybody else that... Uh, talked about developing film besides myself. But I would assume I would need a dark room to do it. What up, Jesse? I know your secret, Malcolm. Malcolm. could you tell me a little about yourself? Where did you grow up, for example? Oh, it was a long way from Tom South Sea Island. I'm Mr. Average personified. There's nothing wrong with being ordinary. No, but it's not very exciting. You're not really Mr. Average personified, are you? Surely you're exaggerating. No, Dad works in an office and Mom is a librarian. They live in a suburb. We're, we're very concerned about everybody's family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? No. I'm an only child. I was always alone when I was little. I didn't ask for all that information. So you didn't follow in your father's footsteps? No, I certainly did not. But surely he's proud of you. I don't know. It's a long time since we spoke to each other about things like that anyway. What's your mom like, then? Well, she's a strong woman. She really had to cope with a lot, poor mom. Oh my god. 
What did your mom have to cope with? What? Oh, well, she's a housewife, you know. While her husband has a career. Uh-huh. But didn't you say your mom was a librarian? Yes, she is now, but she was at home all the time when I was growing up and dreamed of being somewhere else. That sounds sad. Mom had to sacrifice herself for dad. There's a liar on, on his, my notes section about him. Do you have any pets? No, I'm allergic. No, I won't disturb you anymore. We'll talk more later. Yes, but there must be a more interesting topic of conversation. You, for example. Okay. Can you help me develop some film? No. How to develop? I can't think of a word oh. to search for right now. She is 18. It's it is true. That is one that is one fact that we know for certain. <laughs> Send it through one convo. <laughs> you got to get your little flirt in there. Get your little uh, conversational sleaze going. Where the fuck is Carla? Carla and Bob are out on a date or something. There is no HR. Okay, hotel them? Hotel and jeweler are like, I mean, where else can I go? I'm hoping at some point I can go, uh... uh get old lady her haircut. anything interesting my chat keeps like disconnecting over here everything's being so fucky today open it open it over yonder uh is anything interesting happened we did find out that lucy is the child uh of the the jewel thief that's definitely something. Game runs like it has 200 tabs. The game is the game is running better than uh, Streamlabs and Twitch for me right now. The game's at least doing what I expect it to do. Okay, Vicini does not care. Can you develop film, Vicini? No. Oops. Am I still live for you guys? My, uh... Yes? Okay. Something's not right over here, <laughs> unfortunately. Something's not right over here. I don't know what it is, but something is amiss. <laughs> Internet got too cold. Dude, it has been cold in here. I almost wore my uh, my Hot Topic fingerless gloves because my hands were so cold, but uh, I warmed up. No, I won't be welcome in there for the next, say, hundred years or so. Okay, so what the what then? How cold? I, I don't think it got over 20 degrees today. It's been in the tens or the teens. What did I do? I released a cockroach in the dining area and then snuck by the the clerk to contact a celebrity.
Check back issues of the paper. I'm pretty sure I did that. Oh, maybe I could go... Check the escape route again? I already did that, but I didn't really look around. Further examine the museum. I think I could get into the museum if I climbed up that pipe again. Oops. <laughs> My disguise was perfect. That's true. We did have a pretty great disguise. I was brought out of a room before I could explore it. Honestly, my the only things I can think are to check on the old lady one more time. And if, if not that, then I gotta try and go to the museum. The hair appointment is just Wednesday. It was not, there was no time given. Uh, she'll be awake once we've done everything that we need to do. Maybe talking to Lucy in the diner was... I don't want to disturb anyone. Why not? Disturb her. It's time for her hair appointment. I did go to the salon already. Uh, let's. I'm gonna try and go up the up the pipe in the back of the museum, and then if that doesn't work, I'm gonna try to see. If I can examine the, uh, like, the back alley? I haven't been there. Other than that, though, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to get the film developed. Man, when was the, when was the last time I took a camera to get film developed? Like a, a disposable or a, or a roll? <laughs> Walgreens. That would be nice if I could go to Walgreens. Zopstrosity one. Thank you for the five dollars and change. Been playing a lot of Shinmu three this morning. I played for an extra hour trying to get. The baseball gotcha. I blame you. Toothpaste. Thank you very much, Zopstrosity. I hope you're enjoying Shinmu 3. No, I'm sick of playing Porch Climber. Dude, I walked all the way over here. You printed some photos. Of oh, can you still get film developed at Walgreens? Yes? Do they just have, like, a machine they run it through? I keep doing that instead of menu. Okay, I guess we'll do the square. And yeah, it's possible a message might have been deleted if it if it was seen as a hint. That's done, nothing personal. No hard feelings. I'm a little baby and I overreact to uh, hints, so mods kind of just delete anything. <laughs> anything that could be misconstrued as one. Uh, <laughs> they just go ahead and axe it for me. Okay, so I still can go up the ladder. Maybe there's something else up here. Like a clue as to who the person was? I definitely didn't go over here. No. No. 
Oh no, the plank is gone. I can't even get... The squirrels. Is it a squirrel sound? Is that is that where we're going with? Yeah? Could the squirrels be involved in the case? Uh, they do seem to be around a lot. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. It seems to be filled with trash. Trash. La Master of La Swords. Thank you very much for those 200 bits. Love all your vids, Ian. And your Sonic 06, uh, Sonic 06 stream was amazing. Thank you. You might have been the first person to say that. Thank you very much. Thanks for the last. Thank you very much, Master of Swords. Okay, how am I gonna... I'm... What are the odds that the punk rockers know how to develop the film? That stream sucked. I mean, this was a store. I might have to open up hints or uh, look at a guide to see what I got to do next, because I don't... Unless I'm supposed to give the book to somebody, roll of film. I still have not used the beeper at all. Let's see. Hello again. Are you always oh. here? Not when it's raining, but pretty much all the time. You don't have to ask him that every single... Hello again. Nope. Are you always here? Not when it's raining, but pretty much all the time. Uh, Sadie, is the next step something that you think I'm going to figure out, or is it obscure? Is it something I should know what to do, or is it uh, kind of out there? Oops. Eventually, since I just keep wandering around. Well, why don't you give me a hint? <laughs> why don't you give me a hint as to where I'm supposed to wander? Uh, is it in the new town? I've wandered, like, I've wandered, like, everywhere. Thank you very much. I'll go back to work. And it's a magpie? It's not a... Is a magpie a type of squirrel? It did sound like a bird to me. I could see... Honestly, I could see how it sounds like a squirrel too. Like a really, really loud squirrel. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see. Hi there. What are you oh. up to? Nothing, of course. Without the lab, I can't do anything. I'm like a fish out of water. I'm sorry to hear that. Not half as sorry as I am. My hair is turning gray from the stress. Mm -hmm. Talking about hair, 
What do you think about my new haircut? Nobody said anything yet. Is it supposed to be that jagged? <laughs> uh, no. It didn't turn out right. I hardly ever get my hair cut. I like it the way it is. But isn't your hair suffering? It looks like steel wool. Thanks a bunch. You look like a dish mop yourself. Some advanced I was just kidding, flirting going but on. Trim would do you good, Tom. Amazing what someone's hair can tell you about their personality. So what does my hair tell you about me? You look a bit smormy. Something of a smooth operator. Smormy. I look cool. <laughs> People probably don't realize that you're a great guy deep down. I might appear a bit rough at first. I'm sure a haircut would bring out the real you. No, I don't think the hairstyle is the problem. Are we trying to convince him to go to Debbie's? But a trim is all that's needed. Can we change the subject now, please? Go get your fucking haircut, bro. I saw an old music video with Michael Bolton. You look a bit like him, actually. What? Michael Bolton? That sleazy, mushy singer? You say I look like him? Yeah. <laughs> Michael the Bolton, the sleaze. I do not. Michael Bolton doesn't look too bad. My granny likes him. You need glasses. We don't look alike at all. <laughs> I'm not the only one who's noticed the resemblance. You could be his twin brother. Yeah? Have others said that? When I started here, they told me that Tom's the guy who looks like Michael Bolton. If you cut your hair short, you'll look like Antonio Banderas instead of Michael Bolton. Antonio Banderas? <laughs> That'd go down well with the chicks. So I wouldn't just look like Michael Bolton with short hair. No, you have Banderas' face, but that Bolton hairstyle of yours doesn't... It's a very long just... conversation. Maybe I should get a haircut. Just get the haircut already! My image. Do you know of any good hairdresser? There's one in the whole town. Debbie Salon. You didn't go to her, I hope. No, I'd love to, but I can't afford it. Debbie Salon is very fashionable. Okay. I might give it a try. I just want to remind everyone that one of the first things we did in this game was promise not to lie or manipulate <laughs> anybody. Okay. Do a little save. I guess he's just going to, like, disappear. Okay. Should I just, like, leave and, and come back? What if I just left and come back? Well, actually, I'm going to check. I'm going to see if anyone popped up back here. I must have done something to uh, advance the story to get to talk to him again. I promise it was a lie. Dude, everybody's a liar in this game. I can't think of a word to search for right now. I really have this minuscule, like, backdoor hope that we're the ones that took the diamonds. Hi. Even though we weren't alive at the time. Hi. Hey, you want a haircut? Oh, shit, that's, <laughs> that's what we're going to do. It's such a great feeling when you've just had a haircut. Good for you. Oh, you my God. He looks gorgeous with a crew cut. Yeah? What made you think of Tom Cruise all of a sudden? You look a bit like him. Tom Cruise, I mean. Ah, uh -huh. so you think I look gorgeous? Uh, I said, with a crew cut. You look like Tom Cruise did in the 80s. This is the 21st century, Malcolm. Get a haircut. <laughs> the 80s? It's up to you, but you really need a haircut. No, I'm going to sit here and wait till the 80s is back in fashion again. Yeah! He's already smooching a movie star. I feel like the haircut must be working. You could do with a haircut, too. A closer crop would really suit you. No offense, but I'm not sure you're the one to give advice on hairstyles. Oh! Do you know what? Tom's getting a haircut. What? I thought hell had to freeze over first. I think Tom will look super cool. His hair, I mean. <laughs> 
What's so important about the hair? Your hair is part of your personality. Surely you oh must know God. that. I did not expect at length discussions about haircuts today. I know a great place. Debbie's salon. Is that where you got your haircut? Yeah, why? In that case, I think I'll pass. Stop teasing me. I know it didn't turn out exactly great. I think I'll let my hair grow. I mean, stop. Te you're you are in. You're assaulting this guy over his hair. You can't say stop teasing me. You're so nasty. <laughs> Is it really that bad? I think you're really great. Seriously. Hmm. I normally get my hair cut at Debbie's, but this time I cut it myself. Not exactly a success, I know. <laughs> It'll soon grow out again. It's the same Debbie I was supposed to interview. You know Kit Grace's childhood friend? Yeah, how'd it go? She seems to know a lot about Kit's past, but she clammed up as soon as she realized I work for the Post. She seems to be happier gossiping with customers than journalists. That's too bad. Yeah, and then I realized what I should have done. Gotten a haircut. An undercover haircut. Yeah. But by that time, it was too late. Bob should have sent you instead. You're more experienced. Now I've blown the scoop of the century. Don't be too hard on yourself. You were just unlucky. Anyway, it might not be too late yet. You mean you're gonna do it? That's brilliant, but I thought you said you didn't want a haircut. <laughs> the scoop of the century may be worth a haircut. I'll do it. Haircut! 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 I want to go to talk to Vicini and, and tell him to go get a haircut. I suddenly wish this game... I, I wish I wasn't a journalist. I wish I was just a haircut sales person. Door to door. Uh, hey, don't look at my fucked up haircut. But you want to you wanna go get a haircut? You look like you could really use a haircut. You're ugly as shit. Did you know that? You'd look so handsome with a haircut, though. Okay. It's going to be mad at me. Not when I crack the case. I'm going to solve the case, and then uh, both Tom and Malcolm are going to be like, oh, that's why you were berating me about haircuts. I, th I thought something was off about that haircut conversation. It seemed a little odd. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me... Before I do this, let me check to see if just leaving, if they're if they're gone. Maybe they're going to go get their hair cut. Well, the point of making uh, Tom get a haircut is so I can develop the photo in his uh, in his office. As for the having the other having Malcolm get the haircut, I actually don't know. I don't really know what the angle is there. Oops. I wonder if this actually accidentally went back to the other visual setting. I feel like it's chunkier than it was after I swapped settings last time, but I can't be certain. Okay, yeah, all right. So can I... Can I develop the photo then? He doesn't have any of the equipment. How is this helping me? Feels chunky. I could do a quick reload. I'm going to do a quick reload. Okay, I guess after the... I guess I'm going to go... Uh... Okay, that is what I had it on. What if we did even... We just maxed it out.
I guess I'm going to go try and talk to the old lady and try and be like, hey, it's haircut time. Oh, I can just teleport. What's the deal? With, what was with Tom saying he never gets, he never cuts his hair? It was so short. How does he never cut his hair? This is on uh, Windows XP. Or that's where I'm playing it. I don't know. I, I guess I don't know what the game was actually made for. Oh, he has a ponytail? I couldn't tell from the shot. From from the shot there, it just looked like he had a little bit. It just looked like he had a tiny little shaved head. Please come in. There the we door's go. Open. Hello, Emma dear. I'm so haircut. Haircut. A haircut. Anybody out there feel like scheduling a haircut right now? Anyone anyone's hair feeling a bit long? I'm here to take you to the hairdressers. I love going to the hairdressers. No one does my hair as nicely as Debbie does. You'll look great. I'd love to have a personal stylist. I read that Sue's got one. Yeah, I suppose you need one with all those parties and premieres. It's been so long since I last attended a premiere. Sue's got her lovely shiny hair from me. Her father was as bald as a bowling ball. Really? Let's hope you don't look like that when Debbie's finished. <laughs> Everybody's here. Hi, Debbie. Hi again, Emma. I gotta get back to work. What's a guy like you doing in a place like this? Stop it. Don't break my cover. Malcolm! My little sweetie pie! Oh. Granny? What are you doing here? My little darling. Come here, give Granny a hug. I see the angle now. Sure, how? Just give a hug. What do you mean, how? Granny hasn't got any marshmallows for you today, but I will tomorrow, Malky. So, you are Mrs. Holmes' grandson. Yep. And that, of course, makes you Kit Grace's son. Right again. Well, 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 what do you know? It's not fair setting people up, Emma. So, how about highlights today? No way. I think you'll look smart in highlights, Malky. Why don't you try it? Malky? No, I have to go. You really ought to get a haircut. It's far too long at the back. Can we change the subject now, please? What is it? You're in a you're in a hair salon. Ooh, he's so temperamental. I like that in a man. Are you leaving already, Malky? Yes, Granny dearest, I have to, but I'll come and visit you soon. Love you, my boy. <laughs> I love the voice. Her grandma. <laughs> Granny's voice actress is great. Okay, well, I didn't. Maybe I should have expected that. I did not. Mrs. Holmes, this is my colleague, Tom. Hello, Tom. What an odd name for a girl. <laughs> no, no, Tom's not a girl. He's here to have a haircut. Girls are supposed to have long hair. Yours is too <laughs> short. They don't seem to know each other. Classic Mrs. Holmes. No, don't worry, dear. Debbie usually takes me home. Okay. Well, you look great, oh, Tom. Hmm. I'm not sure. Yes, you do. You aren't used to it yet. That's all. It's the latest fashion. It I looks swear. the same to me. Really? It looks exactly the same to me, actually. Okay, hold on. There we go. Just had to bounce around a little bit. Okay, so Malcolm is Kit Grace's son. 
does that does that help i don't think that helped i mean so is that fair so so <laughs> oh chapter six eventually oh now uh sanda kada thank you for the 200 bits hey ian thanks for streaming it's been warming me up seattle got cold out of nowhere dude tell me about it it's freezing today stay warm everybody unless it is warm where you're at Okay, so I'm gonna go... I need to get the fucking film developed. Uh... Oh, wow. I should... Maybe I should talk to Malky? No, Malcolm is old lady's grandson. Malcolm is the son of the movie star. I don't want to disturb anyone. No one's home. I have no time for shopping. Oh my god. What are the what are the odds that we actually go in the shop? Does anyone think we're actually going to make it into the shop or are they just taunting me? I kind of feel like no way to. Unless there's some story that opens up and you got to go talk to the shop. I mean, there's two shops you can look at. But I don't know. It just feels like there's no time for shopping. These guys are always here. No Lucy. Lucy doesn't want to talk. Annie doesn't want to talk. Swing by work. I'm just going to make the rounds. Feels like devs didn't have time to add it. That's possible. It's possible. If it were me, I would probably like remove the prompt to interact with the store at all, if that was the case. But... Who knows? Who knows? Shopping would require a currency implementation. Well, it could be like, hey, here's some money. Go pick, you know, pick it up at the store. Also, I weirdly think that it's running better at the higher resolution. I don't know why max resolution <laughs> makes this game run better. That doesn't make sense to me, but... I will take it. Maybe we gotta go... Maybe we should go talk to Kit Grace, actually. I wonder if we could get into her... Well... Maybe she'd be outside the hotel room? We're not gonna be able to go into the hotel. And waste the voice line. That's true. Native resolution doesn't need to be downscaled. That's that's definitely possible. But it's like way smoother. Sprint button would have been nice. Yeah, see, even when it chugs a little bit, I feel like it's a little more stable. Miss all these scenic walks. They could be scenic light jogs. They don't have to be sprints. No, I'm playing on actual hardware. Boop. 
boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Maybe there's a window around back I can sneak in. No, I won't be welcome in there for the next, say, hundred years or so. It says the north side, which is not the name of the hotel, so maybe there's a south side I can... Uh... Oh, wait, north... Is it saying exit the area that I'm in? It might just be saying exit the area that I'm in. Do I jog anywhere? Um... No. No, I can't say that I do. I try. I tried to think of how I could say that I do. But, uh, unfortunately, I do not jog. Zoop. I don't have the right haircut for jogging, you know? I think that requires a, a very specific uh, haircut. I would need to go get a haircut for that. Everyone died except for Tom and his mum. Malcolm always parks his car in Carla's parking space. Why has that always been the last page of the note or is that trying to tell me something? I'm just going to go through his car. <laughs> Put some racing stripes in. Uh, clip my hair into a ponytail to jog? No, no, no. That... Jogging with a ponytail, it's uh, the ponytail goes back and forth. It thro it's constantly throwing off uh, your center of balance. It's actually dangerous to jog with a ponytail. <laughs> I look like Tom Cruise with a haircut. <laughs> that's, that's definitely been one of my favorite segments so far, the aggressive haircut salesman. Okay, well, this is his car. I can't interact with the car at all. Oh. Malcolm, what are you doing here? I'm in a hurry right now. Can we talk about it later? No. What were you doing in the alley? Through the trash away. Why? Where are you going? I'm going with Tom to pick up his new darkroom equipment. Are you mad at me? I just wanted you to meet Mrs. Holmes. That's a lie. You wanted to see if your hunch was right. Oh shit, did he vanish? <laughs> he just. He's so pissed off at me, he just fucking vanishes. Well, let's see what's in here, shall we? A dumpster. Wonder what's in it. Trash. A trench coat. There's a key in one of the pockets. Hmm, probably useless. It's completely bent. That's it? That's the only trash? A bent key? Yuck! I feel sick. I feel sick. I feel sick. I feel sick. She feels sick. 
Wait, I saw something else. Hold on. Hold on. Darkroom equi equipment is in here. I can interact with it. I just gotta... There we go. Here's Tom's darkroom in a big pile. Rest in pieces. Here's Tom's darkroom in a big pile. Rest in pieces. I feel sick. Crooked key. Well... I know of a safe. And I know of a hotel door that both uh, could use some snooping. Oh. Oh. Yes, it is 1850. This game takes place in 1850. I wasn't going to say anything, but it's so obvious. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Excuse me. Do you need a haircut, Bob? Hi there. Have you got anything for me? No, not off the top of my head. Why don't you ask Carla? I'm sure she's got something. Why don't you get a haircut? Like me being here. That's nonsense. She probably just thinks you're a bit young. You have to start somewhere. Exactly. That's the spirit. I'm beginning to think Carla hates me. Oh, I'm sure she doesn't. She sometimes comes across as, oh, a bit severe. But under that harsh exterior, there's a heart of gold. You really think so? Yes, I'm certain. Just give her a little time and things will change for the better. I feel like I gotta get Bob. Yeah. What if I just do it? Okay. <laughs> what if I just try the key out on your hidden safe? Mm -hmm. He sounds familiar. He's Bob. Everybody knows Bob. Zoop. For goodness sake, it's not the paper that decides what the weather will be like. We only publish the forecast. You have to excuse me, but I really got to go. Call the weather gods and complain to them. Fair. Bob and Malcolm sound almost exactly the same. I hope they are the same person. Malcolm's just got a... Uh, like a disguise he puts on. Hello? Hi, Carla. I thought I'd ask. Don't think so much, and ask even less. Off you go, and shut the door behind you. Ask what? Hi, Carla. I thought I'd ask. Oh, oh okay. Don't think so She's supposed to be getting cut off. I was like, what? <laughs> off you go, and shut the door behind you. Do you know this? Wait. Hi, Carla. I thought I'd ask. Mm. Don't think so much and ask even less. Off you go and shut the door behind you. She's got great shoes at the very least. The Carnivorous Fish. Would you like to read a, a novel? Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Yeah, I'm sad we're not pushing haircuts. Isn't it a bit warm to sit indoors with a coat on? Not particularly. Uh, Malcolm. Oh. Bob really ought to assign you to some... Might adjust the thermostat. About, Lucy. You're ready for bigger things. You're just saying that. No, I mean it. You've got talent. Malcolm? I'm talking to Lucy now, okay? Oh, ho, ho. 
I'm sorry. Don't bite my head off, okay? Why don't you back off then, Emma? Everyone figured out your haircut scheme. I really liked your article about parking meters. Did you? Oh, thanks, Malcolm. You're talented. That's the simple truth, but you're too modest. Excuse me. I hope Malcolm likes it hot. Oh. It's like a sauna in here, man. I'm pouring with sweat. I didn't do anything. Don't look at me. You take your coat off. Oh, come off it. You're all Jack it off. Coat. If it's not my hair, it's my clothes. Jack it off. Where'd he go? He's still Ah! Oh my god, I can still walk around in the in the cutscene. We <laughs> Do you know where Tom is? No, he was upset about a lens missing from his new equipment. He went out to drown his sorrows. A lens? Yeah, that's right. Hmm. So where the fuck's the jacket? Oh, oh, oh. He probably put it in the car. He probably put it... That's why... That's why the note about the car. Okay. Well, this is not going to make me any friends of the paper, that's for sure. Uh, most people seem to be uh, getting tired of my antics. Okay, okay. Tom's got his new equipment. Yeah, yeah. So... The lens for the enlarger is still missing. Oh. <laughs> Malcolm and Tom are going to go to Bob and be like, you got to fire Emma. Can you, she convinced us to get haircuts. That's a fireable offense. Oh, come on. If I can't actually get to the jacket here, I'm going to be <laughs> a little upset because that seemed very clear. Yeah, sign. No. Oh, come on. No, I still can't interact with anything over here. Okay, so where do you like hang it up? I still don't under understand why I was trying to get him to take out it off his jacket in the first place. Is it hung up up here, maybe? In Bob's? I don't know why you would hang it up in Bob's office, but... I want to tell Bob to get a haircut. I want to I want to see if I can get into that safe. I can't think of a word to search for right now. Well, I can't think of a word to search for right now.
Why is Malcolm a creep? I don't know. Chat thinks everybody's a creep. It's hard to <laughs> it's hard to keep track. I know that Tom was the one that like he's a he's a photographer and he's he uh, photographed babes. <laughs> 16 and 40. Uh, what am I going to use? Oh, uh, what are the odds that uh, Vicini would um, be able to repair a key? And now he's a jewelry guy. Oh, because we got hit on. Everybody hits on us. We got this smoking haircut from Debbie's. Hi. There we go. Hi. You back? What can I do for you? Could you explain the alarm system for the treasure display case again, please? The alarm sensor is triggered when an object is removed from the case. When the alarm goes off, all exits from the room are closed. Why do you ask? Because, uh, we're writing about the theft in our feature on diamonds. I thought maybe you intended to go in for a life of crime. Kind of. Who are all these reproductions for? They're for the museum. I thought the museum only displayed genuine stones. Because of the risk of theft, the museum sometimes displays replicas. This is especially the case when jewelry is on loan to exhibitions at other museums. And you make those replicas? I have the sole right to make reproductions for Rosemont Valley mm. Museum. And I thought you were a criminal. I'm no criminal. I'm a professional. Well, did we think he was a criminal? Thanks for all your help. Come again. Was there was there a moment where we thought he was a criminal? And I forgot? Can you fix this? Could you help me straighten out this key? Sure, no problem. Oh yeah, he's making reproductions or whatever. I guess that was shady. In the moment. There you are. Good as new. Try not to bend it in the future. Oh, thanks. thanks. A lot. Great advice. Thank you. Can you develop film for me? No. Okay, another thing down. Ooh. Could have done that with a rock. Should have just given the key a haircut. And it probably would have been just fine. I still kind of feel like... I mean, it's either going to go... In Bob's safe... Or it's a room key. But I don't totally get the significance of it being bent. Is she still going to, like, not go in here? No. Okay. I won't be welcome in there for the next, say, hundred years or so. I gotta stop trying to go in there. I don't think it's going to happen. No. I won't no, no, no. I was trying to use the map. I was say, trying to use the map. hundred years or so. Oh, wait, no. I want to go this way. Maybe the key is to the car. 
or to the store. Maybe I could use it to go in the store. Wouldn't that be nice? It's a key to his heart. To whose heart, though? Malcolm? Oops. Okay, Bob, you gotta go. I really want to try this key on your secret safe. Do you need a haircut? Where could we get a lens? We gotta fix the... Must find more out more about Malcolm. I guess I could go talk to Granny. Oh, wow. Still got to develop a picture. You get the lens yet, dude? I'm assuming not. Yeah, she takes notes, but they're not always super helpful, if I'm being honest. I still don't get the significance of having him take... Oh, 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 it's right here. Malcolm's car keys. They'll come in handy. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> oh, my God. You can't just take people's car keys, Emma. We're going for the... For the GTA. Well, let's just go see if we can use him now. And Malcolm's like, what is he get? Is he not going to know? Oh, maybe it was the girl that was hounding me to take off my jacket. And then cranked up the thermostat. I wonder who could have taken my car keys. Oh, I can interact with the car now. Finally. Good thing I've got the car keys. Oh, spoilers. Don't read the text at the bottom. Don't Nothing don't read of that. Interest here. Let's have a look in the glove compartment. But what's this? It's the diamond. Oh, twist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Malcolm's uh oh. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Snooping. What it looks like. Yeah, it is. I think it's exactly what it looks like. You're breaking into my car. Yeah. Talk about the pot calling the kettle black. You broke into the office. What? I did not. You're crazy. You attacked me at the museum. What? We chatted for a while, that's all. No, I don't mean the first time at the museum. I mean last night. Last night? I didn't go to the museum last night. What were you doing there? I was drugged. Sounds fun. What? Aren't those the treasure diamonds that were stolen from the museum 20 years ago? Looked like a cassette tape to me. It's, it's not what it looks like. I think it's exactly what it looks like. I can explain everything. Those aren't the real diamonds. Yeah, I think you'd better explain. <laughs> You know that I'm Kit Grace's son. Captain Parker is my dad. He disappeared when I was a kid. He never returned. Did you ever find out where your dad went? He went to the West Indies. We were supposed to follow him there. He sent a letter to Mum where he promised to explain everything. To Mum! So you never got any tickets to the West Indies? No. I never heard from Dad again. And a few months ago, we were told that he'd died. 
And a week later, Mom got this package with these diamonds through the post. That's all he left behind. Do you know how your dad died? Was he murdered? Was he murdered? No, he died from a heart attack. Apparently, he lived a hard life these last 20 years. Are you sure he wasn't murdered? Are those diamonds genuine? No, they're fake. Dad died penniless. Someone must have cheated him. What's the connection between your dad and the diamond theft? I know he investigated the case. He must have stolen the diamonds from Griffin, and then, in his turn, been double-crossed by someone else. So you're saying you moved here and started working at the paper in order to find out what happened to your dad? Yeah, this is where it all started, right? Whoever swindled my dad may still be living here in Rosemont Valley. Do you think the person who attacked me and cheated your dad is one and the same? And who might this other person be? It's Granny. No idea. It's got to be Granny. I left those notes for you. What stopped you from looking into it yourself? He left the notes. I tried, but I have to keep a fairly low profile. No one at the paper knows I'm Parker's son. I don't want to arrest headlines for mom's sake. What a mess. You can see that again. Do you realize what you've put me through? I've been locked up, chased, and drugged. I'm sorry, Emma. I never realized it would be dangerous. But why did you leave the notes for me? You seem bright and curious enough. Lucy is Griffin's daughter and doesn't want anything to do with the theft. What about Tom? <laughs> Tom isn't exactly the sharpest tool in the box. Well. So, this is where you're hiding. You can sort out your private lives after six o'clock. It's not what you think, Carla. Well, I don't care what you're doing here. It's what you're not doing that bothers me. <laughs> Working. Get back to work. Uh... But Malcolm is selling his car to me. Oh, yeah? And you have to do that at work? No. Fair. That was stupid. Stupid? You're totally irresponsible. What do you think the paper is? A youth center? It's like a fishing newspaper, I'm pretty sure. Malcolm left his notepad in the glove compartment. He asked me to get it for him. But why did he come with you if you were supposed to get it? Emmer forgot the car keys. Where's the notepad then? It wasn't in the glove compartment. <laughs> I must have left it somewhere else. You're hopeless, both of you. Stop running around here like headless chickens and get back to work. I like that you get to try out, like, Just ask me to do multiple research. lies. You and your research. Why aren't you at your computer sorting out wedding announcements? But it's true, Carla. Emma's gonna interview people in town. Interview. What about, if I may people ask? Get... Carla's... About? About how they spend Emma's going to interview people in town interview? Whatever. I don't have time to stand here driveling any longer. Go and do those rotten interviews. <laughs> Emma's going to interview people in town interview. <laughs> I, I, it's so funny that you get to try out multiple lies. You get to... I, I usually give people like three different lies and they eventually take the last one, but they have to get through the first two. Are you disappointed with your dad for what he did? I suppose he only had himself to blame, but I want to find out the truth for mom's sake. She suffered so. How do I know that you're telling the truth? If only I could prove these diamonds are fakes. That's easy. Let's go to the jewelers. Is there a jewelers in town? Sure. Tom and Lucy are regular customers there. Do you think Carla overheard us? I hope not. You see, I told Bob it was impossible to get an interview with Kit. He probably won't be too happy to know that I only had to call my mom. Malcolm? Hi, Bob. You want me to go to the airport? Why? The mayor's coming, uh-huh. But I... Oh, okay. So do we want to get the film developed Are you going to, the airport? to see what yeah, else was on the happy. roll? The mayor is apparently returning early from his trip to India. Can't that wait till tomorrow? Why do you have to interview him now? Bob's the boss. You'll have to go to the jewelers on your own. I hope you aren't trying to run away. Uh huh. Not while you've got my rocks. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, 
that was awesome. <laughs> okay, to the jewelers. It's a really loud car, okay? He just he just drives uh really loudly. If you were standing that close to that peel out, that's probably what you would have heard. Almost exactly. You're an expert, right? Can you tell me if these diamonds are genuine? No, they aren't. But they're a very good replica. I would even go as far as to say they're a masterpiece. S said that before you even looked at them. How are you able to tell that they are fake? A trained eye will always spot the difference. Moreover, I made them. What? You made them? <laughs> yes, but so what? Where did you get hold of them? Never you mind. Why did you make them? Because it's my job. Yeah, that's a dumb question. <laughs> dumb question. Who did you make the diamonds for? The museum, of course. I make reproductions for the museum. These were made for an exhibition of the treasured diamonds in Paris. Okay. So we made them for... Uh, an exhibition why does Malcolm have them when did you make the diamonds let me see it must have been 25 years ago someone must have stolen these replicas too what are you talking about you're holding them in your hand what's going on here what if this guy did take him what if he made replicas what if he made two sets of replicas and said, oh, hey, here's the originals. Oh, hey, here's the replicas. But he just, like, pocketed the OGs. I'm sorry, but I can't say anything. Journalists, you can ask anything, anytime. It'll all be in the paper. That'll probably come to nothing, as always. Mm -hmm. Thanks for all your help. Come again. Mm-hmm. So now the key. What are the odds that the key could be like Malcolm's desk or something? No, she's not going to apologize to nobody. She's all she's going to say is you want do you want a haircut? Oh wait, oh wait, no, Bob is probably still there. I was going to say Bob went to the airport, but I don't think that he did. You can't stop thinking about that great car sound effect. Oh, shit. The punk rockers aren't here. But they're always there. It's gonna rain. <laughs> Too bad I don't have my umbrella. The umbrella disintegrated when I used it to pull down a ladder. It just, it crumbled in my hands. Make the punk rockers get haircuts. I wouldn't be surprised if the punk rockers get haircuts at Debbie's. Because they kind of looked like, uh, like the Marge haircut, you know? She specializes in the, oh, I see something in the trash. I can't get it yet. Hey, you need a haircut, Bob? I can smell burning in here. Can you? Oh, yes, I smoked a pipe a little while ago. I've quit smoking, really, but you know what it's like. Or maybe you don't. What can I do for you? Smooth. They called from the AGM of the Ten Pin Bowling Club and asked you to write something about it. I don't have time. Ask Lucy. 
I think she did it last year. She's not here. Oh, ask Malcolm then. But you've just sent him to the airport. Oh yeah, I forgot. But I don't <laughs> These guys definitely got their lines without... I don't think they know like what they were responding to. I think they were just reading some words on a page. Haven't you heard? Someone's caught a giant salmon in the Roseman Valley River using only an ordinary fishing rod. Really? Aren't you going to go and have a look? Yeah, I'd love to, but no, no, I can't. I've got too much to do. Don't you want a haircut? Interview the angler? It must be a record or something. Yes, ask Tom to take a picture. I don't have time. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. A man called, asking for you. Yeah. Did you catch his name? He said his name was Perker, or Peeker. No, Parker. Yeah, his name was definitely Peeker. He said you knew what it was about. Did you say his name was Parker? Yes, and he sounded angry. Parker? Probably just some maniac out to scare you. He said you'd better go to the hotel straight away or else. Uh, I, I better go right away. You, you sure he said Parker? Pretty sure. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if they can play the lines while an animation is happening. I'm starting to think that some of the long pauses, like... When she does her little, like, hand-on-hips move, you got to wait for the animation to resolve before the next one, the next line plays. I think, <laughs> I don't think they can talk and move at the same time or something like that. A scorched piece of paper. Malcolm knows too much. He's... The rest is illegible. Hmm... Gotta kill Malcolm. I hope those brake lines are okay. He just went to the airport. A safe behind the picture? Bob. Bob, you've been watching too many episodes of Columbo. You made that joke last time you saw it. Open sesame. Oh. This must be Tom's missing lens. But why would Bob want to sabotage the dark room? I don't know what I thought would be in there, but not the lens. I, that's not where I, where I thought we were going to find that. Should I close this and make it look like I haven't been in here? Should I, or should I just... I feel like I should just leave it there. I don't think he'll notice. To be clear, I don't actually have the option to do it. <laughs> Emma's just... She's, uh, off to the dark room. Now, I'm going to develop my film whether Tom likes it or not. Okay, lens is in ah! place. Time to develop the negatives. I didn't like that one as much as the car. I don't think I've taken any pictures worth risking a prison sentence for. But there are only two pictures of mine in this roll of film. Ooh, chapter seven. She knows what she's doing. She's she's got this new technique where the dark room doesn't actually have to be dark. The door can be wide open. Also, doesn't this take a really long time? Isn't developing film there's Carla. Yeah, that's right. Tom said he saw her and Bob in Hawaii. Wait a minute. She's wearing a necklace. Oh. It's the treasure diamond. She and Bob must be in cahoots. Not cahoots. Mother and son. How sweet. I'll frame it and put it on Malcolm's desk. Oh, is that them, them making out in the hotel? I love, by the way, I love all these fucking screenshots of me just standing in ran <laughs> random ass places. All right. 
Come on, through the door. I mean, should I, like, j'accuse, or should I, uh... Oh, wow! Uh-oh! -uh. There's an imprint from the page that's been torn out. Maybe I can trace it with a pencil. Oh, that was easy. Malcolm knows too much. He's the son of Parker and Kit Grace. We have to get rid of him ASAP. Get him out of the way. I don't care how. Just do it quickly. We're leaving town tonight. Burn this note, Carla. She must have overheard us. I hope Malcolm won't come to any harm. I hope Malcolm won't come to any harm. Normal sentence. Well, normally said. Uh, can I feed something to the piranha? Can I feed it the looks book? Hungry. Yeah, I want to feed the book to it. Diamonds? It looks hungry. No. Okay. Oh, I don't need to save. I'm going to save anyway. I don't know why I said no. <laughs> Kidnap the fish. I wonder how many people has, have been fed to that fish. I can't think of a word to search for right now. It's true. W words are hard. I don't like words either. Coochie Kua Cockroach. Now, this, game, this game has had some good moments. That's for sure. Oh, thanks, Emmy. Okay. Well. Uh. Well. Who do I tell about this? <laughs> I can't call the police, apparently. Um, I could check for the punks in the diner, maybe. Run after his loud car. I mean, I don't hear any other cars, so it should be easy to, to hear. She left a cup behind. Is there a message in the cup? No. I found out who wrote those mysterious notes. It was Malcolm. But who's got the diamonds then? I don't get it. Me. Neither do I. This does have a very Twin Peaksy feel. I agree. This is really fishy. Talking of fish, are you hungry? We've got some leftovers. Have some if you want. Oh, gee, not thanks. Not particularly hungry right now. Maybe later. Okay, Annie, have you got any food left over? Are you hungry? We're about to close for today, but we still got some. I don't want the soup. Soup? Hmm, that's no good. What's wrong with our soup? Mm -hmm. It's actually really yummy. I had mm -hmm. some for lunch myself. Yeah, but it's not for me. I don't have time to explain. <laughs> Haven't you got anything else? <laughs> There's some applesauce and strawberry ice cream and... No, 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 that won't do either. Don't you have any sandwiches or something? There's a salami sandwich left, but I don't think it's fit for human consumption. I was just about to throw it away. Is it a bit old and tough? Sort of. That's perfect. Where is... Wait, so I'm gonna feed the fish? It's on the counter. What are you up to now? I'll tell you later. Thanks a bunch for the sandwich. Why am I feeding the fish? Where where is it?
sandwich. It's like rubber. I do like salami. Yeah, of course I feed it, but like why? Uh, rhetorical, obviously, but like why am I? I don't understand the logic behind feeding the fish. I'd rather use it to feed the uh, punk rockers. MJ's never shown interest in salami, but she has go gone for tuna. Maybe we're hoping that the piranha like talks and gives us some fresh info on the case. Hey, stop it. I need my fingers. <laughs> coochie coochie coo, the piranha little fishy fishy how about a salami sandwich there you go good little fishy yeah oh my god she just threw the fish in the trash she just threw the fish in the trash <laughs> the diamonds Someone's coming. I knew I was going to hide in this closet. I did not know I was going to throw the fish in the trash. Bobby, have you packed all your fishing tackle and stuff? Everything's set and the car's waiting. Bobby? Bobby? <laughs> Where's he gone off to now? Now, my little darling Pierre, you going for a little trip. You like that, won't you? Yes, you will. Ooh, goochie, 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 goochie. Goochie, goo the the carnivorous fish Bobby where are you at the hotel what on earth for Parker he's dead you moron who took the call Emma of course how could you let yourself be fooled by that little Parker's dead they're gone oh no my diamonds <laughs> subtle did she not notice the fish in the trash, or...? I've got to call the police. No fucking shit, Emma. If you ever want to see your sister alive again, come to the museum. Bring the diamonds, Bob and Carla. Oh, no. They've kidnapped Annie. Oh, we checked our beeper. We finally got to use the beeper. I was like, where are we getting this message? Oh, my God. Well, that was an amazing sequence. I loved everything that just happened especially the part where i threw the fish in the trash i can't call the police that would put annie in danger i have to do this myself where is he the sand i see the sandwich in there oh oh really I can't save the fish. I'm trying to interact with the fish, but uh, unfortunately, he has enjoyed his last salami sandwich. Okay, I'm actually going to do a save. I'm going to get out of this room real quick. I'm going to do a save. I'm going to close out and open it again because the game seems to run better <laughs> uh, when it hasn't been running for a little while. It's getting a little chunky. just needs like a little rest you know <laughs> I've not tried downloading more RAM now you guys see that flickering okay I guess I'm going to go try and save my sister.
Oh, it's nighttime now. We'll take the walk there. I won't fast travel. We'll, t we'll take the walk. See how fast Emma moves when her sister's life is on the line? Now would be the time to run. Now would be a, a good, uh, at least like a light jog. Zoop. It's more suspenseful. <laughs> How do I get... Okay, I have to face away from the direction I want to go. It's fine. The door's locked. They said to go to the museum, right? I agree, good music. Uh, not really fitting for the moment. But it is nice. <laughs> it's relaxing. You know, maybe there's some upsides. Maybe the diner will get someone who doesn't thumb the soup. You know, that's... It sounds like uh, maybe she's not the best employee. I hope the alarm is still off. That's what you hope? Wouldn't that be good? Yet. There's still time. This display case has been empty far too long. So, okay. Save game. I'm going to start my saves over. I'm going to save top left now. Because I'm wondering if there's there's probably not branching anything, but it's like, I'm not sure if they want me to do the real diamonds back in the case. Or the fakies. I really hope Vicini imitated both appearance and weight. I guess the fakies. Yes, Lexi, I did find the diamonds. Okay, so I guess the idea is I'm going to go turn the alarm back on because the alarms were separate. And I, I, my idea is that the alarm will go off when they take them and alert police. But when I climbed up the window, I said, I sure hope the alarm is off. So, yeah, well, I don't know. No, they look exactly the same. They look exactly the same. The one's a pair of earrings, one's a necklace. They'll never know the difference. <laughs> They'll never know the difference. They're old, okay? They can't they can't see. Now what did the jeweler say? The alarm is sensitive to weight. If there's nothing in the display case, the alarm will go off. Yeah. Yep. That is true. It's kind of Hang on. That's the alarm for the entrance. I was kind of banking on that happening. Uh, I guess I'll go put the real ones in there. The alarm is off. So the currently the display case alarm is off. So my idea was put the jewels in there and turn the alarm on, but she doesn't want to do it because there's nothing in the jewel case, even though we just put the imitations in there? Or is the idea put the real ones in so they can't take them without setting off the alarm? Maybe that's... But some of the diamonds are missing. It won't be heavy enough. Well, it would have been great if she completed that thought before. Now they're back where they belong. Okay, so now it's too heavy, but that's fine. That's... It's good, actually. 
thought maybe I was going to close the window. <laughs> Should have kept the sandwich. So what do we think Annie's up to right now? Chilling. Maybe they drove her. Maybe they were like, we're kidnapping you, but could you make some soup first? I'm kind of hungry. All set. I'd better hurry back to the display case. Well, you don't hurry ever, so... Emma! Yep. Well, no animations playing there. Well, well, there we go. well. Here's our amateur sleuth. I hope for your own sake that you've brought the diamonds. Annie, are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. There you go. Who are these people you work with? This time you've gone too far, Carla. You've got no idea how far I'm prepared to go. Give me the diamonds. They're... Okay. You and your fishing, Bob. Now you've got yourself nicely caught up. I never meant things to turn out this way. I find it hard to buy your innocent image after you attacked me at the museum. No, it wasn't me. It was Carla. She borrowed my coat and the keys to the museum. I'd never resort to violence. No, Bobby. You really are a big softy. Oh, she's got a gun. I shouldn't have stopped at taking the tape and drugging you, Emma. You've proved to be one tough cookie. That almost sounds like a compliment. If you like cookies. <laughs> so, Bob, you're against violence? You've just kidnapped my little sister. Yeah, I know. But I haven't hurt her. Right, Annie? She's okay. No, I actually like being dragged blindfold from work. Um... <laughs> and I felt so sorry for you after that break-in. But the burglars were no young hooligans, were they? No, I did it. I had to destroy that photo of me and Carla in Hawaii. You destroyed Tom's films totally unnecessarily. That role was in the camera all the time. Why do you insist on wearing that blasted diamond? I wanted to get something out of those rocks. I mean, you refused to sell them, you spineless coward. You can't, I mean, that you're the reason that you got caught. Man, you can't be insulting this guy. It was your fault. Those diamonds don't seem to have made you exactly rich. Bob only dared to sell the smaller stones. They only fetched peanuts. I wanted to sell the treasure diamond. Vanity is a dangerous thing, Carla. Tom could have revealed everything. Tom's too stupid to suspect anything. <laughs> he was so excited over the finding out about our relationship. That stupid break-in was Bob's idea. I just wanted to protect you. Protect me? Since when have you protected me? I'm the one protecting you all the time. It's going great between these two. Oh, yeah? You certainly made a botch of it then, haven't you? I didn't expect that of you, Bob. You can attend your coffee mornings with the friends of the museum. But you're still nothing but a plain thief. Emma, you've got to believe me. It was all Carla's idea. I just wanted to write a good story on the jewel theft. It was just a fluke. We happened to see Parker steal the diamonds. We kept an eye on him because we wanted to be the first paper to report that the diamonds had been found. We followed him and caught him red-handed when he pocketed the loot. So you threatened to turn Parker in if he didn't share it with you? Yeah. Carla decided we'd keep <laughs> quiet and share the loot. Great. Was it Carla who came up with the idea of cheating Parker out of his part of the loot? Yeah, she became obsessed with those diamonds. Carla can be very persuasive. I'm sure she can. And you let her have her way. Now, I think you're being unfair. I actually tried to stop her several times. I'm sure the police would have let you off easily if you turned them in, Bob. I was in love with Carla. I didn't want her to go to jail. She really had you wrapped around her little finger. I realize that now. And he's like, can I go now? Can I, can, do I need to be standing here? So you replaced Parker's diamonds with the replicas made by the jeweler for the museum. Yes. As a chairman of the Friends of the Museum, I've got a master key. There was no problem taking them. 
That idiot Parker was in such a hurry to get away that he never thought of checking that they were genuine. He swallowed the bait, hook, line, and sinker. Friends of the the friends of the museum gets a a key to the entire museum. Weren't you afraid that Parker would come back looking for revenge? Ha <laughs> ha! He would never have dared. He knew we could pin everything on him. You obviously didn't realize that Parker had a son. I thought it was odd that Malcolm left a top job for a local rag. But how was I supposed to know? The evidence you had on Parker was that the tape hidden on the roof of the newspaper office. What a bonehead! We tricked him into confessing to everything <laughs> on tape. We promised to give the tape to Kit if something happened to him. That must have been what he referred to in the letter. What letter? Maybe you don't have everything under control after all. What have you done with Malcolm? He's probably wandering around the airport right now, looking for the mayor. We'll be long gone by the time he returns. And as for you, my dear friends, there won't be very much left of you when I'm done. Yeah. What are you going to do with us? Shoot! Shoot! Them, shoot! Shoot! I don't listen to you anymore. Yeah. I'll do things my own way. You've always done things your own way, but I tell you, don't hurt the girls. Don't be so soft-hearted. How did I ever fall in love with you? I'm just gonna murder a couple girls, okay? Too. How could I be so blind? You're as cold as ice. Good. Then we know where we stand. So, what are you going to do now? We'll be all right. The question is, what are we going to do with you? I'm tired of being tied up. <laughs> <laughs> You won't be so cocky when I'm done with you. I'm telling you, don't hurt the girls. I don't think Annie knows what's going on at all. Oh, I'm scared. Out of my way, fatso. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you forgotten the diamonds? The diamonds? Where are they? Turn around. Where they belong in the display case. Yeah, she definitely grabbed something there. <laughs> yeah. We're done for. I knew it. Don't just stand there gaping like a fish. Do something. Use the gun. It's no use, Carla. We'd better give ourselves up. Never. I'll never give in. If you hadn't been so darn stubborn, we'd never have ended up in this mess. If you hadn't been such a darn coward, we would never have stayed in this backwater. They would have caught us sooner or later. You're a spineless worm, a total doormat. And Shoot. you're like your piranha, gobbling up everything in your way. Shoot. Oh. I'm a celebrity. Oh. You saw oh, what? The case. Well done. <laughs> I'm sorry if I gave you a hard time at the hotel, but I thought that maybe you were involved in the heist. All's well that ends well, Emma. But maybe you'll agree with me that you can never be too careful with journalists. You're taking the picture of my left side, aren't you? Sure. Poor Patrick. How I wish you'd lived to experience this moment. That would have been a real family reunion. I'm so glad you and Malky are here, Sue. But let's forget about Patrick, shall we? I feel really sorry for Bob. I really don't think he wanted to do it. Carla's powers of persuasion are limitless. She's a real witch. She'd fit in nicely in your next crime novel. Yeah, maybe I should call it The Witch of Roseman Valley. Who'd have thought? Yesterday, office go for today, ace reporter. Yeah, it's amazing. By the way, what about the old pirate legend? What? Don't you know? I think I'm on to something big. You see, 300 years ago... The pirate legend? <laughs> Well, that's it. That was an abrupt ending. That is it. Uh, the computer, the computer flashed because uh, it, it did the same thing with the intro. Ooh, I like the production art. Um, when it plays a pre-rendered cutscene, it like closes the game out and then opens up the cutscene. There are only horse games in the series besides this. 
Uh, well, that was great. I loved that game. It sounds like maybe there's not uh, a similar sequel or anything like that. I would try. I would try a horse game from the same people if it if it's got an open world that I'm walking around and exploring. Yeah, that's kind of what it looked like. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Some people were saying that that uh, some of the cast sounded the same. It could have been. Yeah, Mindy Lee had a lot. Is that it? Is it just? <laughs> is that just? Is that just it? Well, there you go. That was the Diamond Mystery in Rosemond Valley. Uh. Uh, an obscure title. There's, I guess, there's reasons for its obscurity, but honestly, I thought I thought it was a lot of fun. I got stuck a couple times. I could have used uh, uh, maybe a light jog button, but honestly, if it r ran a bit smoother and didn't chunk so much, um, I, that would have been the only thing I would have really changed. Yeah, I loved the dialogue. I loved how much lying we did. I loved that we threw the carnivorous fish in the trash. <laughs> Uh, that was incredible. So thank you guys for joining me on, on that journey. What a story. A gripping tale. I can't believe I took so many notes. I probably did not need to take so many notes. They were actually pretty good at uh, recapping. The whole, uh, the diner, see, the diner altogether was basically just to recap. Oh yes, you missed the trash fish. Sorry to sorry to spoil it for you, but it is it's still worth seeing, I think. Dojo the Great, thank you for the 65 months. Electric Horizon, thank you for the 8 months. Hi Ian, happy Friday. This feels like a diet Nancy Drew. Thanks for the fun times. Was looking forward to you coming on tonight. Take care. You know, I kind of wish that Nancy Drew had some like 3D games that looked similar. I like the point and click of Nancy Drew, but I really liked the visual style of this game. I think it would have been cool. Uh, I know the modern ones are 3D, but people didn't seem to like it. No, we'll just see when I get there in five years or whatever, when I get to the... What's the Play More Great Games? Oh, this was because Brutal BF was playing Mystery P.I., the, the lottery ticket, which is a pop cap uh, PopCap game. So I'm assuming it's an ad for PopCap. Yeah, PopCap.com. Yes, they are 3D. Uh, I meant letting me move through 3D space uh, instead of point and click. But you get less, like, environmental detail that way because you can only like walk up no this was not pop cap no this was not pop cap uh when you do that in this approach you get way you can't like search around as much you just walk up to the item and it tells you what you can <laughs> interact with um electric horizon thanks for the 100 bits guy fieri's beard thank you for the 17 months hi ian i just arrived did we find out anything about kit other than was named sue and used to be fat we sure did we found out a lot I guess we didn't find out anything more about Kit, honestly. Well, we found out who her uh, son was. That that's that was important. To be the weirdest pop cap game ever. Anxious Bean One, thank you for the seven months. Hi, Ian. Glad you're streaming so much lately. It's extra cozy for that cold weather outside. I'm I'm uh, glad I'm streaming more too. I'm sticking to the three days a week. Uh, for, I mean, it's early in the year, but I'm the plan is to just keep going like this until I die or something. PB and Jakin, thank you for the 32 months. Thank you for another month of Gerb and Chair. The best emotes ever. Catch y'all on the VOD. Cosmic Geo, thank you. 
for the two months. We miss you on old school RuneScape. I have not been on in a little while. I'll be back. I go through RuneScape phases. I haven't been gaming a ton lately. I've honestly I've been working on my office a lot. You can't really see it just yet. But I've been I've been uh when I'm done with work, I've been hanging out it I just don't leave the office. I just hang out in the office and I work on the office and then I go to sleep and wake up and come back into the office. Uh, Foxy Love, thank you for the nine months. And Indigo Fizz, thank you for the 11 months. Fit for Fish Salami. I am the blue office boy. That's true. I'm not allowed to die. Don't tell me what to do, CJ. I'm gonna die, so get used to it. <laughs> Uh, what, did I miss anything? Oh, the, the empty. Thank you for the 26 months. I'm late. Forgive me. Uh, you're forgiven. Misha Bishi. Thank you for subscribing. And Zeno Craig Morph. Thank you for the four months. Hey, Ian. Been enjoying the streams on VOD. Happy to catch you live. Hope all is well. Love from the UK. Thank you so much, Zeno Craig Morph. Where are we ranking this game? When I die, who gets my mist collection? I just just turn my turn my house into like a museum. I'm assuming by when I die, I'll be like super super duper famous by then, and then my things will just be preserved as they are, and you can like walk through and and point at them. That's the plan. I was a fan seven to ten, eight or ten, five five diamonds. Awesome. I'm glad to have found. An audience who likes the weird, janky games that I like. Because I would rather play this over most AAA games that come out. I, I enjoy this very much. Well, that didn't take too long. Two and a half. Well, now i got to figure out what I want to do next week. I don't think Bingo will be ready. I'll try and get Bingo ready for the week after. But I'm not totally sure what we'll do next week. I'll just probably look for... Uh, Sims would be interesting. Don't let Chaka know I said that. Horse games. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. It was, we'll probably be doing something on the XP. I'm so excited to have XP running. I thought I was going to be upset about it because it doesn't. it's not Windows 98. But it's been much easier to work with and a lot more things run on it. Horse games. Just horse games in general? You remember the horse games that we've played on Bingo, right? They have not been good <laughs> or fun. <laughs> you want more? I'll look around. I'll look around for uh, for some horse games. I'm not promising anything. One more horse games. <laughs> I will see what horse games I have. How's that? There's more Barbie horse games. I was told I can't buy any bar. I was going to buy some more Barbie games, but Sam Dub won. Oh my God. MJ has just been screaming. Uh, told me not to buy any Barbie games, which makes me think that there are some on the way. Little stinker. Don't do that. Face that way. Yeah, there you go. She's like, I can't believe you waited all this time to open the door. Yeah. That was a private message. <laughs> oh, so sorry, Sam. I didn't know. I didn't I don't even remember where I received the message. I just know that I got it. <laughs> you got to say don't tell anybody or maybe you did and I forgot. <laughs> what I meant to say was someone totally different messaged me and told me not to buy any Barbie games. You did? <laughs> 
Maybe just don't tell me anything. <laughs> Maybe just never tell me anything. Listen, I remembered that there were Barbie games. And that's all that that's all that my brain sponge held on to. <laughs> I don't know why it's a secret. I don't know why it's a secret, but I I, I hope I can earn your trust back, Sam. <laughs> When I eventually open the box, I will uh I will act extra surprised. How's that? <laughs> I was I was trying to thank you for your your uh continued generosity. I'll mail them back to you if I've if I've uh if I've offended you greatly, I'll I'll just mail them back. I'll forget when I show them. <laughs> it's true, it's all true. Okay, so everybody, I'm going to need you to forget what I said. And uh, I forget stuff all the time. It's very easy, so you guys shouldn't have a problem with it. Just for I forgot it, so you guys can forget it too, obviously. She doesn't want to talk. Okay, I'm stalling. I'm just hanging out now. You guys doing anything uh, cool for the weekend? be working on my video i got i've got my uh, script my rough draft script done for this game review video i'm working on it's not i mean it still needs it still needs stuff added to it it's it's at 10 pages right now which is pretty long for a script of mine so we'll see we'll see how that goes tim's about to drop in dfw that's cold over here doing some art oh, that sounds fun 10 pages single spaced <laughs> single spaced all right that's cool guys cool cool well thanks again it's not in proper script format now it's just a text document thanks again thank you for all the partner anniversary well wishes it warmed my heart. It meant a lot to me. My partner anniversary is... It's almost like a holiday uh, for me. I'll be thinking about it all all night. Okay. I am going to go now, though, because I don't have anything else to do or say. I'm just sitting... I'm just sitting here spilling secrets. So... Uh, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Bye, everybody. I'll see you on Monday. Monday. Go away, Grandpa. Fine. Bye. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.